Hi Taurus, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a few things here while I'm shuffling. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Um, this reading will be your love reading. It may not resonate with everybody out there. Uh, so take what resonates. If it does resonate, um, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box and in the comment section. Um, I will look at the next three weeks going forward from this reading, and I also treat it like a personal reading. Lastly, details below um, how to contact me for a personal reading and how to enter my giveaway for a free personal reading. So with that, Taurus, let's get started here. Let's see what the energy is here for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? Please show Taurus what they need to know in love. Show Taurus what they need to know. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, we got the world card, the four of wands, the two of wands, and we have the seven of cups. Okay, interesting. So I'm going to say first we have strong Aquarius, your energy, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. Okay, interesting. The world card and the four of wands. And the seven of cups. So it can be an energy here of options. You may have options, some choices in love, okay? Whether they've you come across. This can be making a decision in love, right? A healthy choice here. There may be somebody that you're still attached to or somebody that you're thinking about for some of you. And some of you may be making a decision here around a relationship. Let's pull more cards before I say anything. Now, this could be somebody else, right? Maybe making a decision here. We got the Chariot, Cancerian energy. We also have here the King of Wands. Okay. I feel like there's someone here thinking about you and the future here. Queen of Pentacles. And then we also have here the, the Wheel of Fortune. So interesting. Interesting. I feel like there's some sort of change, some sort of new cycle here uh, for you, Taurus. You do have uh, justice on the bottom of the jack, Libra energy. Um, it feels like there is going to be some movement here in your love life, a new start, a new chapter, a new beginning. Uh, you got the four of wands and the king of wands. I feel like, Taurus, there is somebody here who is possibly thinking about pursuing you, taking some sort of action. We're going to pull some more cards. We're going to see what else comes out. Definitely see somebody here thinking about the possibilities of the future with you. So some of you, I'm just going to say, maybe you haven't met this person yet, or this could be somebody that you know, uh, but with the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, someone is actually thinking about you, Taurus, thinking about the possibilities here of a relationship. Okay, so this could be someone who is ready for a relationship or they, you know, they're trying to make some sort of decision or they're thinking about, right, the possibility about things going forward with the two of you. This could be uh, someone who lives at a distance and then you have the seven of cups and you also have here the wheel of fortune, okay? There could be something here around timing. I feel like this person may be... Um, questioning the timing may have mixed emotions um but the energy that i feel here with this wheel of fortune i feel like there could be some sort of positive shift that happens here let's look what's on the bottom of the deck okay you got justice here you got the ten of swords so some of you may have recently come out of a bad relationship or something um, hurtful in your life, okay? Some of you, this could be, the, you know, maybe you had an ending with this person. It's going to be different for everybody. So let's see what else comes out. See what other details. Okay, look at that. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands. Oh boy, we got a choice here. <laughs> we got two queens. Could be a same-sex relationship. Uh, doesn't have to be. Okay, interesting. And we have the Death Rebirth card. Okay, so this is what I'm picking up, Taurus. Okay, we got uh, strong Scorpio energy here. I'm also picking up Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Could be another Taurus Virgo. Strong Cancerian. And I already said the others up there. So, all right. 
There's something here about doing the right thing. So either it's your person or it's you, Taurus. Somebody here, whether it's you or your person, someone's trying to make a decision because I feel like somebody has options, okay? I'm gonna read it as you having options. Now, there could be someone you came out of a relationship with or something ended. And now there's another opportunity that's coming towards you here, okay? There's an opportunity because I feel like there's somebody here that is interested. Maybe somebody here who wants to come towards you, uh, maybe seeing, you know, your worth, your value here, or has something to offer. Could be somebody very stable here, okay? Especially with the wheel. It does feel like that energy. Things could actually move forward very quickly with you and this person. Now, distance could be a factor here. Remember here, you have the Ace of Pentacles. There's some sort of new beginning here, I feel, for you, Taurus, that actually could uh, could go for the long term here between you and this person. Now, you have the Nine of Wands. So it may be that this person hasn't taken any action yet because... Um, it, you know, maybe they've gone through some challenges or there's something in their life, something stressful that they're going through. So I see this person thinking about it, but I see this person maybe not really taking any action yet. Okay. Because there's a decision here. You also have here the queen of wands. Like I said, now this could just be one person, right? Somebody here, you know, uh, wanting to take action, but look at that. You have a couple here. You have the king and the queen of wands. So this could be uh, somebody, somebody of interest, not necessarily the person maybe that maybe you had a, a, an ending or of a relationship with, but I'm also going to say here, there's an energy here, a transformation, new beginnings. So if you did come out of a relationship, it may be possible it wasn't something healthy and now the universe is uh, making things right, right? Balancing the scales of karma here with the justice card. Interesting reading, Taurus. So I feel like... Um, I'm going to pull a few more cards and just ask where all of this is going. What can you share with Taurus? Where is this all going for Taurus? It feels like there's an opportunity of a new beginning here with someone that could lead to a long-term relationship. What can you share with Taurus? Okay, look at that. I just said an opportunity there. Ace of Wands. Yeah, the universe is bringing in um, someone here where there's potential and growth. The Hermit, Virgo energy, so it could be a Virgo, let's see what else, the Tower, and let's pull two more cards, King of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles, okay, and look at that, bottom of the deck here, you got the Ten of Cups, interesting Taurus, so, I feel like Taurus, um, there's, there's somebody wants an opportunity with you. Someone's been thinking a lot about you. You got the tower and you also have the king of swords. I feel like you're, you, there's going to be some sort of um, unexpected communication. Some of you too, like I said, you could have just came out of a relationship. Could have been a very, um, I'm going to say str stressful or chaotic or maybe some drama with it. Um, but with the Seven of Pentacles here, I feel like, Taurus, that this is kind of an energy here where you're going to reflect on this, okay? You're going to reflect on this, this communication that I get, okay, with this person here. You got the Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh, Taurus, look at that. Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like there may be a decision here. This may be you at a crossroads. Like I said, there may be more than one option here for some of you. Some of you may also be walking away from a past situation that was just very difficult. You know, maybe it didn't end well, um, you know, or, you know, someone could have betrayed you as well. Okay, and look at that. Nine of Pentacles, your energy is very attractive. And here's your energy again, the Hierophant. Okay, so I'm going to pull some Untold Truths Oracle. I don't know what's going to come out with this Oracle. It could be, you know, regarding the past person, could be new person. I'm just going to see what comes out here. This is a look at this Untold Truths. So you have established, 
Okay, so look at that. This person, this opportunity here could be somebody who's really established. Maybe um, they are somebody who is doing really good in their career, their business. Uh, maybe a family is important to this person is what I'm getting. Let's see what else comes out for you, Taurus. What else can you share with Taurus? Okay, interesting. Roaming wild, free-spirited risks and possibilities here. Okay. So this could be someone who's kind of a free spirit I'm getting. Also, too, this could be someone I feel here um, who would be willing to right, take the risk of a relationship, okay? Somebody I feel here, too, who would be open to a relationship and the possibilities. Let's see here. You got heart song. Okay, beautiful. That's that inner knowing, telepathy, and intuition. Okay, so Taurus, I feel like, um, you know, listen to your heart and your intuition here about this situation. <clears throat> Some of you may be deciding here with the roaming wild whether to be single, right? Um, stay single for a while and just keep your options open, right? There's that decision here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see what else you have. Oh, look at that. Spiritual connection. Deep love, soulmates, and unity. Yeah, I feel like this is someone, um, either you already know this person, you have a spiritual connection, or you're going to meet this person. It's a new, I feel it's a newer soulmate here. Okay, let's see what else we have. Yeah, I feel like this is the new energy, not feeling the past energy here. Okay, look at that. Chemistry, spark, passion, desire. All right, you're going to have a lot of chemistry with this person. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Harmony, peace, balance, and friendship. Okay, I feel like this is someone you could build a really nice friendship with. I see the two of you like courting, getting to, to uh, know each other, giving you time to listen to your intuition, having fun, being free-spirited, and oh my gosh, it just gets better. Look at that. The better off happiness, perspective, clear-headed, and space, all right? And I'm going to say here, you have here hoping, all right, waiting, expecting, and manifesting. So I feel like you're manifesting a new love situation here with somebody, a new soulmate or a newer soulmate could be someone that you know as well. And the energy looks really nice here for you, Taurus. So I'm not going to do an extended. I hope uh, you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.